Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm here at the 310 Bison Ranch near Jacksonville, Texas. Let's go check it out. Go see some bison. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. Raising money, making friends. Seeing the country into it. And Lone Star Rider. life went on I, I always had a dream of having them but you know I knew I'd never make a living as a rancher or anything knowing about it and uh, they got close to retiring thinking okay, you're either gonna raise buffalo or you're gonna kind of forget about it and get this out of your head it's been there your whole life and I started looking at property up in Montana and Wyoming because I've never been there but I've heard it's just beautiful up there it is and I'm a native Southern California and I thought you know, yeah. So, uh, for a company that was in East Texas, I wanted green and pretty. I didn't want Texas flat. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, a couple of years of luck and I found this place. Well, good. Well, that's a pretty good story. I like that story. Yeah. Moved here in 2015, took about six months to get ready for them, and I've never looked back. Right. So, do you make a pretty good living doing it yeah yeah okay yeah. i mean the besides making some money on it the best thing is it keeps me busy right you know, uh, right getting up you know for, for retired people getting up and walking around turning the tv on was kind of a death sentence right i agree 100 percent. So you need to be you need to have something going on so these are oh a little over a year to up to that guy's getting close to three the big one he's sold yeah so how many do you have uh right now i think i have 53 although i 53 yeah. i had them they were all up here this morning i didn't count them like, here comes one of the bulls seeing what we're doing yeah and this is gentleman jack coming over um oh wow he is a big one yeah he's not quite as big as my other bull oh okay <laughs> they're, they're not too much different maybe 150. we'll go over and see him he's going to stop right over here and hope we bring him something to eat yeah well, I read that they're really aggressive, well, especially yeah. protecting their... They can be. You know, yeah. they're, you, you always have to consider a, a bison a wild animal. Right. And, you know, I can walk out there with them, and I'm 99 and a half percent sure I'm fine. You know, I'm never 100 percent. They watch me closely. They're never 100 percent sure of me either. I got, I got that She's going in. Yeah. He's going to give them the slow walk, kind of watching them, saying, hey, you know, I'll... <laughs> Well, I appreciate you showing me around. Oh, I'm happy to. I enjoy it. The buffalo like it. They get some extra food. Yeah. Just bring that to the So why did you call this the 310 Ranch? I have three daughters and ten grandkids. So oh. 310. 310. There's a lot of grandkids. We'll go over and see Jack first. Sure. Let's see if I can share them. Find the rest. He's a very social guy, but again, we don't want him sticking his head inside. Got it. Hey, big boy. You're going to feed him. You can just take it. Yeah. Just like we're putting a nickel in the slot. They don't bite. Oh, very cool. Okay. They don't have any front uppers. Well, that's a good thing. 
<laughs> Ooh, that's a rough tongue, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty wild. It's one of the few you can kind of touch. Yeah. Most of them don't really care about that. Oh, really? They'll touch you with their tongue and their nose and stuff. They don't really like it. That's uh, some pretty thick. Yeah. If he wants to stick his head in, you just hold your hand out. Okay. Don't push him too hard. Yeah. You don't want it to be a challenge to him. Well, that's a fight we'd lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would imagine so. Hey, there you go. Well, very cool. That's pretty heavy. Six years old, so he'll hit right around 2,000. He's done, he'll grow until he's about 10. Yeah, here you want one more of these? <laughs> there you go. I am watching my head. Well, this is absolutely a gorgeous ranch. Looks better when the grass is tall. That's her swimming pool and drinking water. Yeah. Mom told me not to uh, drink the water out of where I swim. Yeah. <laughs> He ain't scared, he'd come right up to you. Oh, yeah. Her name is Pink because she has a pink tongue. Most of them have black on top, even on the bottom. Did that a couple weeks ago. Hi, Mama. Yeah. They almost look like regular cattle. Yeah. Almost. Close. <laughs> they can get to be over 3,000 pounds, the bull. Yeah. Which are really cool. It's the largest mammal in North America. But 3,000 pound you know, bison is great to look at, but really not good for too much. It's too big to, to breed. Uh, females typically run 850, 900 pounds. Yeah. So a sire that's you know, 3,000 will probably kill the female during calving. Oh, wow. They're just too big for them. So how are they uh, for meat-wise on that oh, side? Oh, they'll be fine, but you know, once they get that size, your steak is probably going to be a little bit tougher than a typical bison. Yeah. You know, so if they have very large animals, most of it turns out to be ground. There you go. <laughs> up and in, that's a young girl. Yeah. And coming up here, it's more like a young bull. She's a little bit on the piggy side. Yeah. Shouldn't so be feeding you, huh? hang out forever. <laughs> this is a young bull. You can see the meat of his horns. And yep, don't have anything for you. No. Some you haven't had any. Real pecking order. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
here with a calf. A yeah. calf was just born a couple days ago. Oh, wow. That one's name is Lizzie Borden. Lizzie Borden, yeah. how come? Uh, Lizzie, we'll come after you. Ah. See that tail up right now? Yeah. yeah she's saying, you know, uh, she's really alerted. She's going, you stay away from my kid. Yeah. You walk out there right now, you have a very good chance to end up on the top of that tree. Yeah. Oh, you saw him, you thought I was going to throw it, didn't you? She's very protective of her calf. Yeah. Every the time I think calf gets bigger, she'll come over, eat out of your hand. But right now, she's... Come on. <laughs> yeah. Big calves don't eat these yet. Their teeth aren't strong enough to chew them. Thin out with some of that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want. You want some more? Oh. Yeah, I'll give them just give them handfuls of it. No. Oh. Oh. Eat <laughs> roughly forty pounds of food a day. Oh yeah? Wow. Let's keep shoveling them in for a while. Yeah. Hey, you had a tongue like an anteater. That's all I can say. <laughs> Not quite there, but you're almost. Come on, get through two bowls of fight again. Oh, yeah? yeah. Good look at that tongue. <laughs> <laughs> He's about um, right around nine years old. You see, they start to wear their horns down. And, and he was born here. This guy I brought in from uh, Colorado. He's so how many acres you got out here? I, uh, 97 and a half. 97 and a half. Couldn't get an even hundred, no. huh? <laughs> well, Steve, I appreciate you showing me around. Glad you made it out. Yeah. Glad you did. Guys, the 310 Buffalo Ranch is awesome. And Steve was awesome. It was a really neat experience and a great learning experience got to feed some bison and i uh, got to see his ranch and got to learn a whole lot about uh raising bison which was very cool so i'll put down all the contact information on how to find this place and get a hold of steve in the description y'all check it out and if you guys are not subscribed to me y'all ought to be Click on that subscribe button down below and then hammer the hell out of that bell and you'll get an email notification that I've uploaded a video. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, share, comment, let me know what you think. Catch you on the road here at the 310 Bison Ranch near Jacksonville, Texas. Very cool. All the information on finding this place will be down below in the descriptions down below in the description uh, well worth checking out yeah did I say well worth checking out let's try this again Lone Star Rider.